All right, here's a quick explanation of how I make my bond legs. Uh, ignore this. Um, first, you'd make your duct tape dummy for your pants using, you know, a pair of pants you don't really care too much for because you will lose it in the tape. Anyways, you take your duct tape dummy and you fold it to where it's just a straight, you know, like a side view. So you're not looking at the front when it's folded, you're looking at this side. And then you lay it down on whatever you're going to make your pattern out of for the foam. And you draw kind of like little half teardrop shapes. And, you know, you line it up at the bottom of, you know, the knee with the back of the leg. You just kind of draw that same shape. And then, you know, it's kind of like this, but upside down, the thicker parts at the top. You know, or just, you know, kind of a quick little explanation on how to do that. And, you know, however you're going to do your shoe, you might add foam on top of the shoe or might add more foam to where it extends with it. Just however you're making your design, but this is how you do the little curvy leg pattern. And sometimes the pants won't be as thick, so, you know, you with everything together you know it look look pretty nice but you take whatever you drew this pattern onto and you take your pants away so you're left with you know cardboard shapes like that you take these and you lay them down on say like I use the one inch upholstery foam and you cut these out you know, it could be four or five, you know, however many you need to make your padding. And it would just be a Zeus, my dog on the couch groaning. <laughs> you know, all glue them all together, use scissors, trim them down where they're all nice and smooth. And you do that for each leg. And then take these. Take your duct tape dummy and tape your new padding to your duct tape dummy. And then, this is the annoying part, you make a new duct tape dummy over top of your old duct tape dummy. So now you have, instead of just a straight legged pattern, you have a pattern that has your curves in it. So you could take it, cut it up, you know, just how it looks right here. Lay it on your fabric, you know, cut it out, and sew it back together when you can be able to stuff your stuffings back into the fur. Hope that's not confusing. You could even make a tail that way, you know, just be like, oh, here's my tail. You know, trace it onto it, sew it back together, and woo, you have a tail. I hope that's not confusing. Alrighty. Bye-bye.